Well, hello. It is time, yes, time again, to dig into a 1541. This is one that I found in a Rubbermaid container that I'm sure I got a while ago. The Commodore 64, which looks a little aged, is working, but the disk drive will not read a disk. So, and I have found my screwdriver. So, ah, this is the time. Oh, look. Behold the Torpet. Featuring, yes, Jack Tremiel. Jack Tremiel. We're going to keep close eye on that. We're going to take good care of it. Unless it falls. So, what I'm going to do now is if I'm able. There is a bunch of stuff here. Big 20 cartridges and such. I'm going to turn this monitor, and I really don't need it on because I'm not going to be know, doing much of anything with it. Open up this fifteen forty one. It does seem to be a modern version because, as I said, when you put a disc in, the drive spins so it automatically gets tickled. And you know what? There were so many different slight variations along the way. I don't even know. I can't be... I mean, I can guess that maybe this has one of the tiny circuit boards. But I really don't know. So I'm just trying to rescue the screws. Oh, well. They're not all coming out. I don't believe I've ever seen this exactly. I'm just coming over to show you. So this is a, definitely a short, short version of the board. But not only is a short, short version, right... i got to do this carefully. Maybe I'll shoot a little video with my phone. But anyway, right here, there's uh, an extra board with the chips on it. I don't believe I've seen that before. I do not. Oh, there's some more screws. So yeah, this is a newer, a newer version that I have seen. Let's just take out our phone and do a little tour. So here we are inside 1541. And it has most definitely the short or uh, the short version of the circuit board. Um, not everything is in a socket. But there's a lot of socketed things here, which of course makes it easier to check things out. It looks like the 6502 and the 6522s are indeed socketed. 
this chip is not. Now, here is an, an, an interesting thing. Here's this little circuit board with an extra little chip and a capacitor. And I don't believe I have seen one like that before. I don't think I have. Over here, of course, is the disk mechanism. And as it is one of the Neutronics ones, my experience and other things that I've read tell me that Neutronics ones, uh, the head is more likely to fail than others. Even though I like the turn down better, that's the way it is. So here is the circuit. Now, the, the reason I, I suspected this had a newer circuit board in it is because when I put a disk in, the disk drive spun. And that, from what I have found, is only happening on these, on, on, on disk drive, 1541s that have this little circuit board in them. And it does look like this is, this is not something that somebody else, somebody stuck in here because there are, along here, along the rail, there are no more screw holes. So this was made for this board. So they, they are basically all the same. They just got better at making things smaller. And I still don't know what that board is or why. I guess I will investigate. Anyway, the next thing I must do is to open up another drive and try using this circuit board with a different drive mechanism. And I think what's probably going to happen is that then everything will work and everything will read and I will find that I have another bad uh, Neutronics drive mechanism, I am suspecting. But we shall see. So here is a view, a close-up view, inside a 1541 with a very small circuit board. The original circuit board on the original 151, sorry, 1541, started basically here and went all the way to the front. The very front, like way up here. Like the rail had screw things right at the end. That was the original. So it looks to me that they have got it down to 50% of the size, which I'm sure means a few less components. Or, you know, maybe the same components but packed in to a more efficient way of doing things. Anyway, so here we have 1541 disk drive, and this one is not working. Not yet. Thank you for coming. Bye for now. So, there. We have a little video on here. Now soon, I must head out the door. So what I need to do is go over to my disk drive pile here, which it's, I know you can't see it as well as it used to be. There are um, bunches of them, bunches. Well, I'm just looking, I had, I had one set aside here somewhere test things with, but I'm not sure. Working power supply. No board inside. Yeah, that's not it. What is this one? Aha! Uh -huh. Power supply good. Very short board good. Dry mechanism bad. Oh. test as I think they might. What is this? Works all major chips and sockets. Aha! This. Is good. So, here we have another da -da -da -da. 
141 disk drive. Yes, it is. Another one. Um, this one, as it says, is all good. Oh, kind of dirty. Looks like, well, at least half of it looks like it's had coke splashed on it. Anyway, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to think about this. Oh, things have kind of got ahead of me here. I need to tidy up. So, I'm going to very gently set that down. On top of the old pet. from the other 1541 that I've been using to test things with and turn this on turn this on okay so we are good I think we're good Can rotate this back. There, look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 And just test this out. Always good to make sure that the drive you're using to test things is actually working. It is. And if there is not, I'm sure it will tell me. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have a whole lot of time here. So I think we should do J and Q. And that's it. So the disk is reading. It is reading. soon music will play. Won't it be fabulous? It's funny when I hear this song sometimes I think that maybe not to speak ill of Jack Jamil because he did great things but I have also heard of the Jack Attacks where he would appear and, you know, departments would vanish, people would be fired, off they would go. So I wonder if on the days of the Jack Attacks, this might be a good, um, a good song to be playing as he came down the halls of Commodore, ready to attack. I think it, this is Star Wars. It's called Imperial March, but I believe it is also at times um, tied to Darth Vader.
I believe that is the end of the Imperial March. And now, Star Wars, which I would think is the theme from Star Wars, I think. The file must be big. Or the distro. Oh, here we go. So, the disk drive that I want to test the disk drive with seems to be working. A good sign. Anyway, I would do more now, but I must go out for a little bit. So, we will continue and we will find out what is up with this 1541. It's funny, you know, um, I have spoken a number of times, I do want to try and recreate a picture um, that was on the front of the transactor with Carl Hilden surrounded by disk drives on a desk. But, um, I haven't done it. But I think I need to get on with that because as I do, like, I sold a 1581 disk drive. That disk drive should have been in the picture. Nobody will miss it. I'll just know that it wasn't all I had. The picture could have been that much better. But anyway, as I do continue to attempt to get organized and attempt to downsize, uh, I gotta get on it and figure out that picture. I do. So, we continue at another time, on another 1541. The main disk drive for the Commodore 64. A company created by Jack Tremiel. Yes. This man, that's Jack Jimmy. On the front of the Torpet, after T-Pug and the Torpet went in different directions. Jack Jimmy. Jack Jimmy. Bye for now. Sleep well, Jack. Rest in peace. Shalom.